Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sai. This book is. This is not enough. This is not enough. Did you find the present yet? Not yet. This is for my best friend. It has to be cool and fun and big and wow, like this. Wow. What are you gonna get? I'm not sure yet. But it has to be one of a kind, and warm and soft, and from the heart. It has to be something that shows how I feel. I know. I'm gonna knit a one of a kind, warm, soft from the heart scarf. Good idea. Can you knit? How hard can it be? I can't wait to see. For you to see your gift, well, I have the best idea for your gift. What is it? You will find out soon enough. This is not enough. Later, and then you can write thank you for being my best friend, Roger Dap. Ah,、uh, never mind. Eject. I've got it. What is all of this? You'll find out soon enough. Sigh. This is not good enough. Later. Bump. This is not enough. Close your eyes. Okay, open them. Tada! You made this for me. Yes, it is so cool and fun and big and wow! I love it. I wanted to give you something one of a kind and warm and soft and from the heart, something that showed you how I feel. This is not enough, but all I have is this. You made this? Yes. It is more than enough. It is everything. Surprise! What do you get us? The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where that little blue bear didn't know how to knit, but he still wanted to knit. Dick and Stone, best friends forever. Stone, I'll catch you. A friendship full grown, together they'll venture into the unknown. Dick's on a search for maple or birch. He can't wait to see his family tree. Mom, am I a spruce? A willow, an oak. Where did I live before my branch broke? Stick is excited. Stone, quite delighted. I see a tree. I love a good quest. Quests are the best. They wander, explore. Two forests galore, through valleys and creeks, and high mountain peaks. But Stick doesn't see his family tree. I think it was big. I think it was tall. Stone giggles. Stick. That sounds like them all. The 
the forest is vast, the forest is deep. Soon they are lost in shadows that creep. They hear something scurry. Come on, Stake, let's hurry. Was that a bear? Was it a snake? It might be a monster. This was a mistake. Hoot! We'll never be found, Stake. What's that sound? Stone looks at Stick. Stick looks at Stone. They both slowly turn, then scream. It's Python. Are you guys okay? Come on, home is this way. Deep forest playground. Stick stone no longer alone. Stick stone saved by pine cone. Now homeward bound. Now safe and sound. I guess I won't find my family tree. Stick replies stone. Stone, your family's me. You are right. Whisper stick, you are right next to me. You always have been, and always will be stone. And and I truly don't care if you're an oak or you're a pine. I'm your best friend, and you'll always be mine. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where they finally come home, and Stick finds out, and Stick finds out that Stone is his family. The rabbit listened. One day, Tyler decided to build something. To build something, something new, something special, something amazing. Tyler was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, things came crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck cluck. Where's the? Sh- what a shame! I'm st- I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. This happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Cluck cluck. But Tyler didn't feel like talking, so so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grrrr! How horrible! I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it! Gar! 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 But Tyler didn't feel like shouting, so the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Chomp, chomp, da da! I, I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things went. But Tyler didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant left. One by one they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, gulp, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, let's task task. What a mess! Let's throw it all away. And the snake, let's knock it down. Someone, let's go knock down someone else's. But Tyler didn't feel like doing anything with anybody, so so eventually they all left until Tyler was alone in the quiet. Tyler didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Tyler could feel its warm body. Together they sat in silence until Tyler said, "Please stay with me." The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Tyler talked, 
The rabbit listened as Tyler shouted. The rabbit listened as Tyler remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Tyler's plans to hide and to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Though it all, the rabbit never left. When it, when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Tyler's plan to build. Again, I can't wait," Tyler said. "It's going to be amazing. Sometimes hugs say more than words. The end. What was your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is with with the horse. Where the ostrich said, "Let's hide in it." Should I share my ice cream? By Mo Willems. Ice cream, get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, oh boy! Ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I love ice cream. Wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Should I share my awesome, yummy? Sweet, super, great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream. Hmm. 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 Maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Sharing a flavor. Piggy does not like will be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. Wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Hey. Piggy is not here. She does not know I have ice cream. I will eat the ice cream. Where is Piggy? What if she is sad somewhere? I must find her. When I do, I will say, "Would you like some of my ice cream?" Then she will say, "Thank you." That will cheer me up. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Yum! Then my best friend will be happy. I will do it. I will share my ice cream. No! Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice cream. I blew it. Would you? You look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Thank you. That'll cheer me up. Yum. That was not my plan. Oh well, this works too. The end. What is your favorite part of the story?
My favorite part of the story is where Piggy gives Gerald her ice cream. Which ice cream would you eat? I would eat the I would eat the vanilla ice cream. This book is Friends Are the Best. Hi, neighbor. I'm Daniel Tiger. I made a book of of pictures of my friend Prince Wednesday and me. Let's look at it together. This is a picture of Prince Wednesday and me playing toy cars. He didn't have a car, so I shared my tiger tastic car with him. Vroom vroom. Friends take turns. These are pictures of Prince Wednesday and me at the beach. An inside beach. We wanted to play at an outside beach, but it started to rain. We got so mad. Then we helped each other calm down and think of something to do. Friends help you when you are mad. This picture of Prince Wednesday and me exploring. We are looking for a special gold rock. Can you see it? I can see it behind those pink flowers. Friends, explore with you. Here's a picture from the time I slept over at Prince Wednesday's castle. We saw something scary on the wall, and. And went together to see what it was. It was only Mr. Lizard's shadow. Friends help you feel brave. I'm so happy I have a friend like Prince Wednesday, and a friend like you. Friends make everything better. Aga maga. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where where Daniel and Prince Wednesday were searching for the treasure when it was right behind them.